Project 50 is adjustable merry-go-round with lights. I changed the figures on the merry-go-round. I have an airplane, dolphin, and panda bear, but I'm going to turn on the slide switch and look, the two LEDs come on while the merry-go-round spins. Now they don't seem to stay on long, and I think it's because the motor uses a lot more energy than the LEDs, but you can adjust the speed of the merry-go-round with the RV2. You can see that when the merry-go-round is not spinning, the LEDs are on at full brightness. And then they go out as it rotates, since it's drawing more energy. Project 51 is very interesting. It is called Fun with Gears, and this project will teach you about how gears are used to make moving parts in machines work. You'll find gears in devices like engines, mechanical clocks, as well as other, many other machines. For part A of this project, I mounted the 1.75 inch gear on the motor and the 2.55 inch gear on the pivot stand on the blue shaft. And then I put the merry-go-round with one of the hypnotic discs on top. I am going to turn on the slide switch and the merry-go-round will spin even though it is not directly attached to the motor. That's because the smaller gear is transferring power to the larger gear which in turn allows the shaft with the motor on it to spin. And then for part B, I put the, I swapped the locations of the gear so that now the larger gear is on the motor and the smaller gear is on the shaft attached to the pivot stand. I'm going to turn on the slide switch and can you compare the speed of the merry-go-round in both parts of this project, parts A and B, with the different arrangement of the gears? For part C, I removed the pivot stand and gears attaching the merry-go-round directly to the motor. I'm going to turn it on and now compare how fast it spins as to when I was using the gears in the first two parts of this project. Is it spinning faster or slower? Finally, for part D, I replaced the three snap wire with the other battery holder. And so when I turn on the slide switch, the merry-go-round will spin faster than it did in the previous three parts because there is now double the amount of voltage to power the motor. You can use either of the layouts with, for part D. I chose to put the smaller gear on the motor and the larger gear on the shaft on the pivot stand and compare the speed. Now gears can be used to make things spin faster or slower. Using gears to reduce rotation speed also increases the turning force, allowing it to overcome more friction, which also changes the direction of rotation. So you can control the direction in which a part rotates. Inside the gear motor, there's a, mo a secondary motor that spins very fast, but there is not enough force to spin the merry-go-round. So that's why the shaft attached to it makes that possible. The gears connected to the shaft reduce the rotation speed, giving it enough force to spin the merry-go-round and make it easier to control. For Project 52, higher gear ratio, I placed the smallest gear in this kit, the one-inch gear, on the motor, and the largest gear, the 3.3-inch gear, on the gear shaft, and 
I am going to turn on the slide switch and observe the performance of the merry-go-round now. You can notice the big difference between the rotation speeds of both gears. For part B, I swap the locations of the gears and let's say, oh wow, look how fast the mirror ground rotates now. I don't think I'm going to really keep it on because the shaft vibrates too much and I don't want anything to come apart. But because I also had the battery holder here for additional voltage, it also spins quickly. I'm just going to quickly change location, uh, reinsert the three snap wire, but still it spins very quickly. For project 53 spin draw, I cut out a white piece of paper and put it on the merry-go-round above one of the hypnotic discs. And now I am going to take this green marker, you can use any color you want, I'm going to hold it in the center, but then I'm going to slowly let the marker move along the spinning piece of paper and see if it does any, makes any familiar or unique patterns. It looks like right now I'm making a spiral. My hand tends to, and the marker tends to drift outward, so it would form like a spiral shape. And if I wanted to, I could adjust the gears or add another battery holder to make the motor spin faster to see if that interferes with my drawing. So I'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes. I'm just doing this circuit. Project 54 is strobe light. Even though I have warnings for virtually all projects that have flashing lights, because this is uh, especially going to have flashing light patterns, I want to say that if you have epilepsy or you think that you are prone to or will have an adverse reaction to flashing lights, please do not watch this demonstration. I can't be responsible for any medical damages that may occur if you choose to view it. With that said, here we go. As soon as I put in the batteries, the color LED is flashing. It's not bright, but it is on. Now I'm going to turn on the slide switch. Now the mirror go round spins and the color LED is on at full brightness. Now I'm going to shine the color LED on the disc. I'm going to turn out this light for best effects. And can you see any interesting ones? Especially when the color LED is flashing rapidly. You can try this with the other discs or you can use different combinations of gears. You can adjust the speed of the merry-go-round by using different sized gears. But it provides a pretty spectacular light show and this is what you might say this might remind you of what you might say at concerts, parties, or other events. Especially ones that involve music. For Project 55, I'm going to use my own pattern, which is this green spiral-like drawing on this pe round piece of paper that I fit onto the merry-go-round. I'm going to turn out the light. And the color LED is on dimly, but when I turn on the switch,
the merry-go-round will spin and the color LED will reach full brightness. And now I can shine the LED directly onto the makeshift disc I made and see what kind of patterns are produced. Six is called fun with pulleys. I inserted the 0.9 inch pulley on the geared motor and then I put the 1.3 inch pulley on the shaft attached to the pivot stand. Then I stretched the included rubber band between the two pulleys and you see that there are no gears and the shaft with the merry-go-round on top is not on the motor. But watch this. It spins anyway when I turn on the switch. That's because the rubber band connected between the two pulleys is transferring energy. It's transferring energy from the pulley attached to the motor to the pulley that is attached to the shaft, which is non-motorized. And like gears, pulleys are often used to move parts in machines such as engines, gasoline power tools, and many other devices. And they're more efficient when moving parts are not so close together. If the moving parts are close together, then gears may be more effective, but when they're not, which is often the case, Pulleys are far more efficient. For part B, I swap the locations of the two pulleys so that the larger one, the 1.3 inch one, is on the motor and then the small one is on the 0.9 inch one is on the pivot stand. Do you notice any difference in the speed of the merry-go-round? than in the first part of this project. Like gears, the energy that is provided is dependent, depends on the size of the pulley. For part C, I simply attach the merry-go-round directly to the geared motor and you can compare its speed to that in the first two parts of this project. For part D, you can repl you replace the three snap wire with the second battery holder, and then you can use any setup in the previous sections of this project and see how the merry-go-round's performance is now. It spins a lot faster overall because it now has twice the amount of energy that it did when in the previous parts when I had just one set of batteries included. I am not going to do part E because that requires you to use a rubber band from your home and you would move the pivot stand with the merry-go-round on top elsewhere but feel free to do that for yourself. Make sure that the band is not too tight though because it could snap or the pivot stand could come off of the grid. But you can see how well it works compared to the one included in your kit. You may not have to actually do this project secure pulley but in the previous project, if the pivot stand is not stable enough due to tension from the rubber band, you can use the Q2 transistor, C7 capacitor, and S4 vibration switch to hold it in place. These three parts have no function in this project. It's electrically the same as the previous one. For project 58, more pulleys, I'm going to use the 0.9 inch pulley, the smallest one, and the largest pulley, the 2.1 inch one. And I'm going to turn on the slide switch. 
and see how well it performs. There's more resistance with the smaller pulley turning the big one. So therefore the merry-go-round is not going to spin as fast. For the second part, I switched the locations of the pulleys. And now when I turn on the slide switch, the merry-go-round spins considerably faster than in the previous part because the larger pulley has more power from the motor to spin the much smaller pulley. Even though it would spin slower, it's much easier for it. it has, it can provide greater power to the smaller one. And that's why the merry-go-round is spinning much more quickly. I'm going to turn on the slide switch, nothing happens. I'm going to remove one end of the black jumper wire and the color and bicolor LEDs come on. This is like a visual alarm that sounds when a trip wire is broken or removed and it will send a visual signal. The adjustable resistor here is just a fixed resistor in this circuit and it will not do anything. You can switch the bicolor LED around if you want to. The color LED is controlling the current through the bicolor LED by the way. And that's why it's flashing in sync with the color one. If you want to, you can run a longer wire across a doorway, and then if somebody disconnects it or breaks it, it will sound a visual alarm. 